welcome back. We have just enjoyed 10 days of living a very luxurious life out of the van in an Airbnb with my mom and sister. We've enjoyed some creature comforts of a bath. How delightful was the bath? Oh, beyond amazing. And I had a kitchen that I could stand up in <laughs> with a oven, which was really nice. We did some amazing things, we ate some great food. We wanted a bit of a rest and we didn't really vlog anything, but we did take a couple of clips. We explored Benegil Caves via SUP paddleboard. So thank you to John at Zen SUP for taking us out. Um, we took the gamble and went for an early morning sunrise. It was cold, but the water was warmer than the air temperature. It was amazing. So it's back to van life and we were excited to get back in the van, we'd done all our washing, cleaned the van out, got everything ready, left them at the airport this morning, said our goodbyes and now we've made our way to the most southwest point in Portugal, Sagres and we are very very near the lighthouse over there. So it was all a bit weird getting back in the van and getting parked for the night open again, but it's done us very well for our first night back on the road. We need to ease back into it. It feels a bit, a little bit strange still, but um, like I said, we've got a good spot. There's a few other vans here, but the proximity of the sea is absolutely amazing. The vantage point is just incredible. As you can see, we've got the sunset there, the lighthouse in the distance. Very relaxed. Good morning. We have had a wonderful first night back in the van. We have missed our van, haven't we? Mm-hmm. As much as it's all about seeing my mum and my sister and having good family time, we have missed the van and having everything all in one area and it's just comfortable, isn't it? As you can tell, it's another glorious day in Portugal as it tends to be. It's a Sunday and this area has got very busy. There's a lot of surfers down there and we've just realised how big the waves are. The people look minuscule compared to them. We're not going in there. Mm -hmm. We are going to head to Sagres today. But we're going to get the drone out and have a little bit of a look around here from above. So that spot was absolutely perfect. Um, a really nice way to introduce ourselves back into the uh, van life. But we still need to make tracks, so we're leaving for Sagres now. A couple of little detours on the way probably, and a very, very bumpy track. So we are now at Cape St. Vincent Lighthouse, which is the most southwesterly point in Portugal. Back in Roman times, people thought that this was the end of the world, because all you can see is the ocean.
So it's a beautiful lighthouse on a truly stunning day today. It's really nice and warm and the adventure is going to continue to Sagres. Mm. Uh, what we're going to find there, I don't know. Do you know? Mm, no, just... I just know the name from the lager. <laughs> anyway, it's a few minute drive so we'll see you on the other side. I think we're just going to chill out for the afternoon. We have had a walk around Sagres. There's not too much happening other than surfing, which I think might be tomorrow's job. Yeah, this beach is a lot tamer than the last one we saw. Yeah, we've got the gear, but we have limited experience. But we definitely need to get them off and have a go with our boards because we can't just travel around the whole of Europe with two surfboards and not use them. So that's tomorrow's job, I think. But for now, we can't come to Portugal without having a pastis di nata. These are a hundred times better than the egg tarts in the UK. I don't really like them in the UK, but these are a bit more, they're like a creme brulee in puff pastry. So thank you, Francesca. We will be checking more out on our route and doing sampling like you have. So uh, we best wait to Lisbon where she reckons the best one are at a certain market. Good morning. Today we're going to start off with a banging cook breakfast because we need some strength because I think today we're going to go surfing. So before we get our wetsuits on and get all our tack ready, we thought we'd better scout out and see what the surf is like and if we think we'll be able to manage it because we are still beginners but we have our own boards. <laughs> so let's see. Brand new boards, we've got to figure out how to attach the fins first. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is a bad idea. So not wanting to overstay our welcome in the car park, we are back on the road. Chucked all the surfboards back on and everything in the back and the wet wetsuits, we'll deal with them later. Still finessing the technique to put the surfboards back on the roof because we haven't done it enough and it's we're getting quicker, but it's still a pain in the bum. It is, but we're in Portugal. It's the first time those boards have been used slash even been taken off to surf. Yeah. And it's only taken us six months. <laughs> But we had a really good time surfing. We're in the water at least a couple of hours and I already feel absolutely destroyed. My arms are aching, my back hurts, I hit my heel. I got the surfboard to the chin at one stage. Meg did a few tumbles in the shallow end, didn't you? My hair is full of sand. Full of sand and grit, which is lovely. The bed's gonna be covered. So we're moving on. We're speaking to people in the car park and they said, Generally, if you don't take the mick around Portugal, then it's not too bad. We, we didn't want to overstay our welcome, so we're moving into the wilderness a little bit more and just hoping to find something off the beaten track slightly. But we're both feeling good, feeling positive, and looking forward to what's coming next. Seems like forever Since we've been together Yeah. 
it's been so long and long, but I'm finally coming home. Till then, I'm dreaming. Good morning. We have woken up very achy and very sore from yesterday's surfing, haven't we, my love? <laughs> I'm in agony. <laughs> it's just muscular, I think. It's been a long while since we've done some sort of proper physical activities like that, and I'm, I'm just really paying the price for it. So today, we're not going to do much at all, but that coincides nicely with the weather today. It's turned, and it's very cloudy and windy, so we're going to just chill out. Yeah, catch up on bits and pieces, relax our muscles, and eat some good food. But this has made us realise how itchy our feet were to get back in the van after sort of 10 days in the Airbnb. We were ready to sort of get moving again and explore. And getting back into the van, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel. The floor is just so comfortable. It's got everything that we need in arm's reach almost. Fortunately, it's been a real ease back into van life. The weather has been fantastic. And as you've seen, we've had some brilliant spots and we've just really, really enjoyed being back in the van. And we're kind of at the halfway point now and um, I feel re-energized for the next six months mm. if we can make it last that long I'm not sure if we'll be able to yeah we've got to do a little bit more pinching I don't think we can have a 900 euro budget for the next couple of months I think we've got to yeah be a bit more uh, a bit more uh, what's the word frugal mm. just got to rein it in a bit and just you know still have a good time but try and save money to make it last uh, but that's us for now. I think we're going to sign off here. We need to find somewhere a little um, more inland maybe to camp because the weather's turning. It's going to be windy and rainy, so <clears throat> we don't want to be on the edge of a cliff particularly, although this spot is beautiful. So as always, please feel free to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. We always appreciate hearing from you. And click that bell button to receive notifications for when we upload our next video. See if our uh, muscles recover. Mm. Hopefully, because I can't pull with you in, Jim. <laughs>